You're welcome back to The Breakfast on Floss TV Africa. It's now time for Today in History, and we're going back to the year 1986. On this day in history, September the 8th, Oprah Winfrey went national. Um, you know, the show was broadcast, you know, nationally for the first time today in history. It was a daytime television um, talk show that turned her into one of the biggest, most powerful, you know, uh, um, you know, business show in, in, in America. She featured wealthiest people, some of the most influential women in America. Uh, it also went on to be one of the most highest rated talk shows in TV history. That show was a huge success. It was highly influential to many young stars, many young broadcasters. It um, was also one of the longest running daytime television shows in history. Um, Oprah Winfrey used that platform to go ahead to educate people. She featured book clubs and interviews, self-improvement segments, philanthropic forays into world events as well. Uh, Winfrey truly became a media mogul and she branched out into books and magazines, radio, musical theater, and the web. She even owns a school. So Oprah Winfrey really is an embodiment of, you know, success of, you know, of, of the woman. And she really has blazed the trail, you know, shined the lights for the rest of us to follow. And it was on this day in history that our television show um, went national. Absolutely. And also made her one of the richest women on earth, you know, black billionaire uh, woman. Um, she also, of course, set the pace and created, um, you know, what you know, television, you know, is and talk shows really should be um, for a lot of people. She basically walked so that many people that we see today could run mm -hmm. um, on television. All right. Um, let's move to 1978, and this happened in Tehran. It's something called Black Friday. It's a Black Friday massacre uh, where 88 lives were lost on this day. Um, you know, and I said earlier that this is something, you know, an event really that changed the history of that country. It's a Black Friday massacre by soldiers against protesters in Tehran, and it resulted in 88 deaths. It also marked the beginning of the end of the monarchy in Iran. The deaths were described as a pivotal event in the Iran revolution that ended any hope for compromise between the protest movement and the regime of Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. The incident is described by a historian as the sea of blood between the Shah and the people. It's thought to have marked the point of no return for the revolution, and it led to the abolition of Iran's monarchy less than a year later. It also believed that Black Friday played a crucial role in further radicalizing the protest movement. On the same day, in other parts of the capital, 24 people died in clashes with martial law forces, one female making the total casualties on the same day, 88. Um, so I like, you know, I, you know, for me, you know, the interesting part of this whole um, story is the fact that it changed and it ended the monarch, uh, monarchy system mm -hmm. in Iran. Um, sadly, lives had to be lost, you know, but every now and then in history, in, in countries, um, a very, very, very disastrous or dastardly moment mm -hmm. goes on to completely change the direction or trajectory of a country. Um, you know, a lot of people were thinking, you know, maybe it was the NSAS protest here in Nigeria. A lot of people thought maybe it was the Occupy Nigeria protest in 2012. You know, there's been, you know, one instance here or, or there, but um, it, that hasn't happened in, in recent times. Um, but, you know, once again, something needs to, something needs to go, to move, really, for a uh, something is to give, that's the thing, that's the word, for change, you know, to eventually occur. Um, hopefully, it might be tomorrow mm. in the Southeast. I hope that, you know, people in the South will be able to see that, yes, um, you know, we, we also have a voice. Mm. Yes, the IPB has its say. Some of us are sympathetic to their cause, mm. but we also have a voice. We're not going to sit home on Mondays anymore. Mm, indeed. Th this, this really was a day that changed everything for Iran, and I believe that every people really have a breaking point. Absolutely. All right. That's it on Today in History, 1986, when Oprah Winfrey first went national. And of course, in Tehran, the Black Friday massacre happened on this day, 1978. Stay with us when we come back. We're going into our first major conversation for today, and it is concerning the president's visit to Imo State, where he's going to commission certain projects, and the IPOB declaring a sit-at-home order for the same day. Um, how do things play out? We're going to be joined by the Deputy President, Ohanez Ndigbo, worldwide, Uchi Okuku, who's joining us this morning. Stay with us.